Good morning, McDonald Elementary School. This is Mr. Ortiz with today's virtual morning announcements. And today is Wednesday, March, March 17th. That's right, 2021. Please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and the Diversity Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to treat everyone as I would like to be treated. I will be accepting of people from all backgrounds and show them respect. I pledge to learn about other cultures and develop an appreciation for everyone's uniqueness. All right, boys and girls. So today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. And today is National Corn, Beef, and Cabbage Day. That's right, National Corn, Beef, and Cabbage. Today's word of the day is merit. It is a noun. A merit is the condition or fact of deserving reward or punishment. Merit. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to my buddy, James Lamoureux from B25. Happy birthday, James. We're going to have to get our birthday selfie with me wearing this hat tomorrow, okay? Also, we have a couple of staff birthdays. Wow. Mrs. Cuddle from the third grade hallway and Mrs. Salambier, who is in the kindergarten hallway, but she works with kinders and first graders. Happy birthday, you two. 21 years old. This announcement, okay. We are changing it. Mrs. McNulty, make up your mind. Students in reading Olympics will not be meeting today virtually. It's because you have an early dismissal today. So we're not going to have a virtual meeting for the reading Olympics today. Mrs. McNulty will reschedule that meeting. All right, now this week's Bulldog Pride Challenge revolves around showing respect to the people who are helping you. And I had to talk to one of our friends just about that yesterday, particularly with our lunch and recess monitors. Boys and girls, our lunch and recess monitors are there to help you. So let's show them respect. When they ask us to do something, we do it because we are being mindful and safe, especially at recess. So we have a number of opportunities throughout the day to do as we're asked by the people who are, in, are, are there to support us and showing that respect all the time is the right thing to do. So you're not going to believe who reached out to me yesterday. Mr. B, you know, Mr. B, the legend? Yeah, well, he was the person that was in charge of the pennies for patients. Well, he counted up all the money for a hat day, if you remember the spirit days that we had here. All counted, the total for McDonald raised $6,396.58. Incredible, twice as much as our record setting total from last year. It is truly amazing how generous the boys and girls, families, and the teachers and faculty and staff at McDonald have been, especially during this challenging stretch of time over the last year. So Mr. B is in the process of mailing the final report to the Lymphoma and Leukemia Society. Once they receive it, boys and girls who've earned prizes, that stuff will be mailed to you. So stay tuned. I'm going to throw it over to Max, the weatherman Zelensky, with our weather forecast. And I bet you he has another fun fact for today. Take it away, Max. Good morning, McDonald Bulldogs. This is your weatherman, Max Zielinski. Today, our high temperature is 49 degrees and our low temperature is 41 degrees. It will rain all day. Today is National Cabbage and Corned Beef Day. Today, a lot of people celebrate St. Patrick's Day by eating corned beef and cabbage. Even Abraham Lincoln's inaugural dinner was corned beef and cabbage. The dish is eaten on St. Patrick's Day because it has connections to the Irish heritage. I don't know, but I like the cabbage more than corned beef. Corned beef isn't exactly a healthy choice for dinner. It has it is high in cholesterol, fat, and sodium. I hope you catch the leprechaun. Thank you, Max, for that weather update. Before we wrap up these morning announcements, I want to give a shout out to the following Lexia winners. Now, I told you, boys and girls, every week teachers are submitting names for the boys and girls who are working hard showing perseverance, doing super well with Alexia. Maybe you're earning your minute go, or maybe you're not, but you're working hard towards it. And what we do then is we pull a name for every grade and then two bonus winners. So here we go. From first, uh, um, first grade kindergarten, we had to start with my kinder friends. 
We have Ben LaShawn from kindergarten. First grade, Kira Rose. Second grade, Logan Blatz. Third grade, Nicholas Ortiz. All right. Fourth grade, Isis Jones. Fifth grade, Manny Guzman. And then we have some bonus winners because we just want to have that much fun. From second grade, Francisco Montoya. And then from fourth grade, Heidi, Heidi Columna Hernandez. So all eight of you, you can come either on Thursday or Friday to the main office to claim a prize for your perseverance and hard work with Lexia. Now, I've been visiting a lot of classrooms. Fifth grade's the top dog this week, the top bulldogs with Lexia. But I know kindergarten's working fiercely. I know I've said some things to fourth graders about it. And don't even get Mrs. Walk started in second grade. She's sorry, not sorry, about having to get to the top of the Lexia mountain, so to speak. And she's taking no prisoners. Wow, Mrs. Walk's on a mission, and so are the boys and girls. I saw them. They are going to work really hard to earn all their Lexia Minute goals. Keep up the great work, boys and girls. It's been fun with the friendly competition. Settle down, Mrs. Walk. Friendly competition to see who's going to be on top of the Lexia standings next week. Those are all the announcements we have for today, boys and girls. Remember the four Bs plus one. Be kind, be safe, be ready, be your best. And the fifth B, be proud to be a McDonald's Bulldog. Have a great learning day, everyone. Adios. Bye.